Our daily lives are filled with decisions, big and small. Even simple choices like what to wear usually are the result of complex considerations. What's the weather going to be like? What will you be doing today? Do you feel like making an impression or keeping it casual? But the world around us is constantly changing, so we want to adapt the choices we make to match the changing conditions. What's true for humans is also true for computer programs. We don't want our programs to always run in the same way. They should respond to changing conditions. In the last video, we learned how to use Boolean expressions to establish whether something is true or false. We can now add something called a conditional statement to help guide the computer's decisions based on that information. The simplest conditional statement is an if statement. It says that if something is true, the computer should run a specific block of code. Let's say that you want to create a program that displays whether or not you are old enough to see a PG-13 movie. So the question we want the computer to evaluate is, if age is greater than or equal to 13. The question, or Boolean expression, goes next to the if. The block of code we want to run, only if the condition is true, goes inside the if statement. So in our example, whenever the expression age greater than or equal to 13 is true, the program will write to the screen that you are old enough to see a PG-13 movie. Of course, some people will not be old enough. In these kinds of situations, we will want our programs to do something else when the condition is false. In order to do this, we will want to expand our if statements to include an else statement. The commands contained in this else statement only run if the Boolean condition in the if statement is false. In AppLab, you can add an else statement by either dragging out the if else block or by clicking the plus symbol in the bottom right corner of the if block. Sometimes the decisions you will want your program to make have more than two possible outcomes. Let's continue our movie rating example, where we want to check whether the highest rating you can go see alone is an R-rated movie, a PG-13 movie, or just a G-rated movie. To check between these three different cases, we can add an else if statement. An else if statement is another condition that a program checks only if the previous if statements were false. So if age is greater than or equal to 17, write that user can see an R-rated movie alone. Else if the age is greater than or equal to 13, write that the user can see a PG-13 movie alone. Else, write that the user can see a G-rated movie alone. The else condition becomes the default condition because when all the previous if and else if statements are false, it will default to the else statement. Be careful as you construct longer sequences of else if statements. If you mix up the order, you might not get the behavior you intended. In our example, imagine we had switched the code so that the first condition checked if the user was old enough to see PG-13 movies, like this. This would mean that everyone who is 13 or older would be told they can only see PG-13 movies, even the adults. And with the next else if line, the computer would be looking for people 17 or older in the remaining group. This code misses the adults because they were true in that first condition. This won't work. The computer checks the conditions from top to bottom, so it is important to enter the most specific condition first. 